Hello, my name is Carlos. Thank you for visiting um, my YouTube channel. Today we are going to um, upgrade, or we're going to try to upgrade an old operating system, Windows XP. Um, I have a laptop, it's a Dell XPS M1210, and I bought this laptop at the end of two, uh, 2006, and it has 2 gigabytes of memory, 256 me me megabytes on the video, and 120 gigabytes of hard drive. So we're gonna see if we can upgrade this um, this old laptop to Windows 8. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Microsoft website. Right here, Microsoft website. I'm gonna select product products and I'm gonna select Windows 8. Here you can read all about the new operating system, Windows 8. And I'm gonna go to upgrade to Windows 8. Right now, Windows are, uh, is offering uh, Download Pro for $39.99. Um, they said this price is going to stay till uh, January 2013. Or you can download right here. And you can click here to see the full system requirements. And it gives you more information about it. And what I like about this is that they have an upgrade assistant. We're going to download this assistant. Press save. Okay, once you um, download and then run the system. And here's what they found. Uh, I have 12 apps. My apps, I'm thinking meaning my applications, my software, uh, 12 of them are compatible. 11 I have to review and there's zero that I need to reinstall in Windows 8. You click on your details of I need to install an application to play a DVD. My secure boot isn't compatible with this PC. Camtasia Studio 6, I, that's an old one, so I don't mind. I'm using a different tool right now. Dell Power Management Utility, well, that's fine. I don't think I'm mine with this. Windows Messenger, so I think I'm fine. And what is compatible, this is important, I have my uh, NIC card or my uh, Ethernet card is compatible, so I'll be okay. My printer compatible. My video card is compatible, so that's not bad. I'm happy. ViewSonic, that's my external monitor, that's compatible. And why are some applications and devices not listed? Let's see. And it's going to take us to a website, and it's going to tell us why. Some not listed might be because they haven't received or, or they don't know the compatibility info on this application yet. So if we have this and, and you don't see your application, what you can do is go to the same website where we uh, download the assistant and and we can scroll down and, and go or find this Windows Compatibility Center. And right here, you can input the name of the software you're trying to find that if it's compatible or not. In this case, I'm going to retype again Camtasia Studio or just Camtasia. And if you see here, um, they have version 7 compatible, even 6, that my assistant uh, told me that is not compatible. And right here, some users have voted if it's compatible or not. Some of them, they probably have trouble, uh, but in this case, uh, 6 is, says it's compatible, so I don't know. And so just type in here the name of your software or application and see if it's compatible. I believe anything that Microsoft um, software should be compatible, okay? So what I'm going to do now, uh, what I'm going to do next is um, I want to get ready to install the software. And I'm going to do the captures with my uh, video, video camera, and I'm going to upload the video with more information. And then the next thing will be um, doing my tutorials using Windows 8, I hope. All right, good luck. Here we go. I'm using my iPhone to capture the screens during this installation. My computer was running Windows XP, and I began this the installation. Choose what to keep. Keep personal files only or nothing. 
I'm going to choose Keep Personal Files. You can read there is a link there that is going to take you to a little window where it's going to give you more information about what to keep or what is the difference between this not to keep or keep some files. When you do this upgrade uh, from Windows XP, the only option is um, it's going to keep your personal files. So after 60 minutes, here we go. You have to remember this is an uh, old system, uh, Windows XP and it's all laptop. And please go to the website and read. Um, depending on the operating system you have, it's going to be different than this upgrade on Windows XP. So here we go, we go to the wireless options. And I'm just going to keep, um, I'm going to do the settings later. And I'm going to customize my settings. I like to have control over my installs. And there is um, turn on sharing. So for now, I'm not going to turn on the sharing. I'm going to turn it off. There's more settings helping protect and update. I'm not gonna do the update right away because it's gonna take um, some time to uh, do the update. Updates since my computer is um, a little bit slow. I'm just gonna turn this off. What do you wanna do? You can change them again once you are once you're ready. Once um, Windows 8 is running. Um, send info to help. Windows make better, I always put no. Online solutions, on, on. Gonna input my password and press next. I'm gonna skip this step. I don't wanna download anything yet, so. And here is your first tutorial. Move your mouse into any corner. And here we go. Windows 8, upgrade from Windows XP on the old laptop running Windows XP. Okay, so now I'm running from the system. And well, it's a new operating system, so we have to learn how to use it. And the first thing I did, <laughs> uh, see if I can download and install um, Firefox and also my Microsoft Expression Encoder. And I was able to do that, so here we go, Firefox running fine. And I had to download my expression encoder for some reason, just didn't work. And but that, uh, I didn't have any problems downloading. If you missing your desktop, here we go, you just press this um, icon right here. It's gonna take you to your desktop. And you have no applications because none of your applications are going to be saved. Remember from XP, the only thing that is going to be saved are your documents. And you can find them right here on Windows Old. There's a folder, Windows Old. Inside this, you'll find your program files, but none of them are going to run. You have to reinstall and you have to put your registration or your serial numbers. So make sure you have them before um, up doing your upgrade. And I'm going to show you how to um, get to this um, window. You have all the apps here. I have my Firefox, my applications, and my some of my tools and programs as Paint. Uh, and right here, the control panel and file explorer. So if you click your file explorer, you'll be able to um, get onto your computer, check what's on your drive C and so on. Okay, good luck.